pointing, beveling, and turning out with foot strengthening exercises at the end. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the difference between pointing, which is what we all learn as beginners, and beveling, which I learned later on. So your average point is just like this. You try to lengthen your foot, lengthen your toes, make everything as long as possible. Um, whoops. You use your arch and the top of your foot, your calf, all of those muscles play a role. Okay, you're not trying to curl your toes under like that or anything. Um, we're just trying to make everything as long as we can get it. So that's a point. Um, to show you the difference between a point and a bevel, I'm going to do both. This is a point, point. This is beveled, beveled. Point, bevel. Point, bevel. Point, bevel. Okay, when you add turnout to this, it ends up looking kind of like this. Point, turn out, bevel. Point, turn out from the hip, bevel. So the bevel is from the ankle, the turn out's from the hip, and the pointing is all through your toes and foot. So here's how it kind of looks from the side. Point, turn out, bevel. When you do the bevel, you're pushing your heel and the inside of your ankle forward. Um, so you're pushing them forward. Your toes are, therefore, going backwards and down. Um, your goal here is for the line of your leg from your hip bone to your knee to your big toe, all of that is gonna be one line. Usually, if you just do a normal point, it'll be a straight line from hip to knee through the middle of your foot. We're shooting for big toe. Okay, so that is a bevel. Um, one more time. Point, bevel, turn out. Okay, you can do that during all of your dancing. Um, and when you're up on your toes, it's the difference between being on the middle of your foot, the middle, like the ball of your foot, and being on the part just under your big toe, just that part. That will keep you balanced, it'll give you nicer points, and it'll make everything look beautiful. So that's our goal there. And that is pointing and beveling. Okay, on to the next. Um, we are going to talk about, oh, actually, I was gonna show you what it looks like, like this too. So, point, bevel, turn out or point, turn out, bevel. Point, turn out, bevel. It's just an extra push with this part um, going forward, going out. Okay, so point, turn out, bevel. <laughs> point, bevel, turn out. Okay, um, time for our exercises. The first one is, Flex out around into a turned out point. This is a good time to practice the beveling if you're gonna do that. So flex out and around into a point and then parallel point and start over. Flex around turn out point and parallel point. Flex around, turn out point, parallel point. Flex, out, around, point. Flex, out, around, point. Flex, out, around, point. Flex, out, around, point. Um, we'll do this four more times. One, around, flex, around, point, flex, around, point. Last one, around, point. Okay, next one is, 
um, curling toes and spreading toes. You can do it with your feet flexed. Curl and spread, curl and spread, curl, spread, curl, spread, curl, spread. This one, you can leave your legs um, parallel. Curl, spread, curl, spread. Next one is pointed and turned out. Do the same thing. Curl, spread, curl. And when we're talking about curling, you can, you can literally try to curl your toes in um, because it does strengthen your feet. It's just not what we're gonna do when we dance. Curl, spread, curl, spread, curl, spread, curl, spread. Okay, and you can also just do the lengthen, spread, lengthen, spread, lengthen, spread, lengthen, spread. Okay, next one is a, is doming. You can do this, I saw a girl do it against the wall, so, um, but you can also do it not against the wall. All of these, in fact, or a lot of them, if you want to take pressure off of your feet, just put your feet up against the wall. But here's the idea. You have a foot. Um, keeping your heel and toes on the floor, push your toes towards your heel. Um, you can also do this with a rag. Um, and try to scoot it with your feet. Scoot, 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 scoot. All right, but the idea is the same either way. You're trying to get your arch off the ground without getting the rest of your toes off the ground or your heel. So if it's a crazy angle, I am terribly sorry. We'll try it like this and see if that helps. And two more. And down. Okay. Uh, next one we're going to do is... Oh, man. Well, the next thing we're going to do is toes with resistance. So the idea here is get a resistance band, wrap it around each of your toes individually. One, and you try to lift and lower that toe separate from the others. I don't know how many times. Five. We'll do five-ish. Okay. I found from an Instagram called Irish Dance Fitness, and I will link to it. Okay, keep going. If you don't have a resistance band, I you could probably just do it with your hand to add resistance on your own. foot. Keep going until you've done all of them. We'll do them together this time, but in the future, feel free to do them on your own. Okay. Probably the 
anybody else who needs music, but we're going to skip that this time. So this is toe isolation. So the goal is moving only one toe at a time. Turns out that's really hard. Okay, so we got that. Um, next ones we're gonna do are all standing up. So here we go. Okay, um, that means I'm also gonna show you from our mirror here. All right, so we've got feet again. Foot pointed, toes flexed on the ground, then point toes to the other ankle. So, um, point, flex, toe. Point, flex, toe. Point, flex, uh, sorry, I'm doing this wrong. That was, that was a different one. Point, flex, toe. Point, flex, Toe. Point. Flex. Point. Point. And double if you want. Flex. Point. Point. Flex. Point. Now do it the other foot. Point. Flex. Up. Point. Flex. Point, flex, up. Point, flex, up. <laughs> okay. Um, next one is point, rock onto your heel, then through and up to a point. Whoops, sorry guys. Point, rock onto your heel, and back up to a point. Point, rock onto heel, back up to point. Point, Heel, point. Point, heel, point. Point, heel, point. Point, heel, point. Other foot. Point, heel. <laughs> you can see all my notes here. Okay. Point, heel, point. Point, heel, Point. Point. Heel. Point. Last one. Point. Heel. Point. Okay. Next one is lift your big toe. Whoop. Lift your other toes. Whoop. You can do them at the same time. One. Switch. 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 So you're trying to get all of your little toes on the ground at the same time and then adjust your big toes down at the same time. Switch, 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 switch. Last one, switch. Okay, here's what this one says. Point at the front, spread out your toes, and pull up. Oops. So, point, spread, Point, spread, up on both feet. So the point and spread, your front foot doesn't have any weight on it. Um, it's just pointing. Your back foot is down on the floor, taking all of your weight. Um, and then, point, spread, up, so that you're up in the back and on your toes um, with part of your weight on your front foot. Point, spread, up. Point, spread, up. Oops. Point, point, spread, up. 
down point, spread, up, last one, down point, spread, up. Now left foot, point, spread, up, down point, spread, up, down point, spread, up, down point, spread, up. Two more, spread, up, down point, spread, up. Okay. Um, I think we have two or three more. So next one is up on our toes. Um, you go to where it feels comfortable, then give it an extra push over your arches a little bit. So ooh, ooh. where it feels comfortable, then extra push over your arches. Try to keep your legs straight on this one. So up, push, down. Uh, we'll, you can do this both feet at a time or one foot at a time. We'll do one foot at a time for this. So up, push, down. Up, push, down. Up, push, down. Up, push, down. Um, we'll do a couple more. Up, push, down. Up, push, down. Three more, I guess. Down, last one. Up, push, down. Other foot. Okay. Up, push, down. 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 Two more. Up, push, down. Last one. Up, push, down. Okay. Next one is just, well, we'll do that one last. Point at side, flex, and slide into a point at the ankle. So, meh, point, flex, slide to a point. This is similar to one we did before, um, but this time it slides in. Point, flex, and slide to a point. Point. Flex and slide to a point. Point. Flex and slide to a point. Point. Flex and slide to a point. Point. Flex. Slide to point. Last one. Point. Flex. Slide to point. Other foot. Point. Flex. Slide to point. Point. Flex. Slide to point. Point. Flex, slide to point, point, flex, slide to point, point, flex, slide to point. Last one, flex, slide to point. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do is a push over your toes just to stretch. So the way she did this was just like this, um, or from the side. This is kind of like the up, up one we did, the up push, but you don't have to do it as intensely. Okay, this one's kind of an arch stretch. Woo, and apparently it also takes balancing. Okay. All right, great. Um, make sure you stretch out your feet. We'll have some ankle exercises later because just doing your feet without doing your ankles isn't gonna do you a ton of good. Whoop, whoop. Okay. All right, make sure you stretch your feet and enjoy your week. Bye guys. <laughs>